Hello! Welcome to today's episode of Vatech Clinical Cases. This episode will be the second one in a mini-series dedicated to implantology. We covered the basis of implant planning in the last episode. We drew the mandibular canal, qualified the bone density, and measured the size of the future implant. In today's episode, we will continue the preparations by placing the implant into the 3D image and choosing the right implant for the patient. Right-click on the finished measurement and choose Insert Implant. A list of suitable implants from favorites will appear. The AI tool will evaluate the measurement and carefully pick an implant of slightly smaller size, average size, or a slightly larger size from which you can easily choose the optimal one by left-clicking the option. After you choose the correct size, a model of the implant will appear in the 3D panoramic image. We can check the placement of the implant next. It is very easy to properly inspect the bone with the set MPR access tool. After going into the MPR lab, right-click the implant and choose the set MPR access option. The tool will set all the planes on the implant for comfortable check-in needs. We can adjust the implant accordingly. The next step is setting implant properties. We can do that by right-clicking the implant and choosing property. A dialog window will pop up and allow us to choose all the necessary information about the implant. We can choose tooth number, manufacturers of the implant, product lineup, a type of the implant, including length and apical diameter. Our implant database has all main manufacturers and is updated on a regular basis. After we choose the desired implant, we can do final adjustments on the position of the implant in the bone. We can right-click the implant again and choose the show controller option, a spheric controller will appear. This helps us gain better control over the position of the implant. The next step in implant placing is individual changes to the implant. By right-clicking the implant again and choosing Edit Implant, we can adjust individual parameters. Once we are satisfied with the implant positions and parameters, we can move to the next step and add guide path and crown. It is extremely easy to add them with a single click in the tick box hidden in the property dialog window that will appear after right-clicking the implant. Here we can see the crown model in a 3D rendering image. We can adjust the size of the crown by right-clicking the model and choosing the Edit Crown option. The crown has a spheric controller, just like the implant itself, which makes adjusting its position comfortable and fast. After adjusting the crown position into perfection, we can go back into the property dialog window and tick Guide and Path on the left, which will show us both properties in the 3D image. Once we are satisfied with the position of all the components, we can right-click it and choose Lock. The option will make sure that we won't accidentally move the implant while manipulating the 3D image and its planes. Here we are going to the 3D pen tab, where we will click on the Change Layout on the left and choose the layout which has an implant bone density window. Once we have successfully switched to the layout, we can right-click on the locked implant. A colored overlay indicating the bone density around the implant will appear in the window. We can double check the bone density around the bone implant easily and quickly. If we need to see all the information about the implant, it is very easy to do it in the MPR tab after right-clicking the implant and choosing Show Info. Since implant placing could be a daunting procedure for the patient, the software offers many tools for easier consultation. Capture View Frame is a function which will create a still picture out of your current screen and save it on the server. Once that's finished, you can go to the Console tab. There will be your real screenshots on the left side and various educational videos on the right. The database offers over 250 videos from various groups which you can choose from on the left. In case you need to export the implant information into your CAD CAM system, it is very easy to do so by clicking Main Menu and then choosing Export Surface Model. You can easily choose which components you want to export, the implant, implant path, or implant guide. By using all the previously mentioned tools, we can easily place the implant into the 3D image, get all the necessary information, and educate the patient about the procedure. Thank you for watching, and if you like this episode of Vatech Clinical Cases, please subscribe for more videos from the series.